Do you see the quay? Once there were many freight boats here for loading and unloading. When Lean Shopping could finally begin to trade abroad in 1874, the economy of the town picked up. There had hardly been an expansive trade before, and production was more or less for local use, nothing for export. The demand to be a city with an export licence, with the right to trade abroad, was why there had to be a customs house and a shipping office, where one registered for paying on and off. The newly built Shinda Canal was an important communications route leading to and from southern Östergötland. Now one could transport wood from forests on the Kshinda for further export around the world. You have just passed the fine-looking Stong's Mill, which was erected in 1803 next to the waterfall, which was here earlier. The water flowed downstream to Nykvarn's Lock, where the Shinda Canal was completed. The building became a temporary customs house and shipping office before the new customs house was finished. Stong's Mill was used as a warehouse for chocolate products by Cloetta that were destined for export, which gave the town a good income from customs duties they had to pay. Today there is a restaurant on the ground floor and offices in the rest of the house. If you turn in on the gravel path on the left, you will see a new brick-built customs house. It is easiest to pass by on the right side of the house. The new built customs house was designed by Hans Elving, the town architect, and was ready in 1876. It lies a little squeezed in between the railway and the harbour, but the location was good for all communication. Now Linsherping has a beautiful state-of-the-art customs house, with room for the Shinda Canal Company, customs and shipping office, warehouse, and accommodation for customs officials. From now on, the significance of Linsherping as a trading town increased. For example, the goldsmith Sam Pettersson, who was skillful in his work and also a good entrepreneur, had a wide-ranging production of silver cutlery, which was sold around the whole country. He won a gold medal at the World Exhibition in Paris in 1878 and a silver medal at the Stockholm Exhibition in 1897. Ready-to-wear clothes was a new line of business which was the beginning of several well-known shops in town, such as the coat store, which Jonal Nilsson ran on the ground floor of Östgöta Bank. Axel Karlsson, his brother-in-law, had a shop which dealt in both groceries and clothes. Later it came to specialise in high-quality clothes and came to be called the NK of Linsherping. These specialised shops were slowly driven out by the competition of department stores such as Temple that appeared in Linsherping from 1935 and onwards. The warehouse Iepa opened in 1955 and Dormus in 1966. Today, just Orleans remains on the premises where Iepa was once found. Now let's continue to the railway station. The arrival of the railway was possibly the most significant event in the town in the 19th century. Follow the road beside the railway tracks until you get to the underpass. Go down the steps, through the tunnel under the track, then up to the front of the railway station. There is a lift on the nearest platform if one has difficulty with the steps. To reach it you must go over the track a little further on and then out onto the platform. <laughs>